Oi pessoal, tudo bem? Estamos aqui nesta websérie com o Dr. Gabriel Cousins, que é um dos meus principais professores espirituais. Se você nunca ouviu falar dele, gravei uma websérie chamada Dos Iluminados e tem um capítulo especial dedicado a ele e também aqui no descritivo do vídeo. Hoje ele vai falar com a gente sobre o Tetragrammaton, que é o nome de Deus que a gente usa na meditação. Uma meditação muito eficaz, que é feita junto com a respiração, junto com o movimento de energia, e ele vai explicar para a gente o que, que é este nome de Deus, como que isso chegou a ele e como fazer essa meditação. Presta atenção que está incrível! I welcome you all with love and peace. The question came up about the Tetragrammaton, which was a UK love K. We don't actually pronounce the full name. And this is something that really became part of my life in 1995 on the 21st day of a water fast. And as I was meditating, this particular name of God as grace came in to me and I was instructed on how to use it. And there was a particular breath with it and a particular vision to it. And it was yod on the inhale from the base up to the heart, and hey out to the heart. Wa from the base up to the third eye, and hey out to the heart. And that way, it merges the heart and the mind in an integrated wholeness. Now this is not a new teaching. This is what Moses received from the burning bush. 3,200 years ago, approximately, or 3,300 years ago, approximately. And so it's not new, and even before that, there's evidence that it wasn't public, but Abraham, Yitzhak, and Jacob also knew the name. It is very powerful. It is about grace, but it's also about a larger awareness. The yod is the inner male, the he is the inner female. The wa, which is sometimes pronounced vav, but as it was given to be, the wa is the outer male and the hay is the outer female. The tension between male and female becomes unified as we unify our inner male and female energies as well as create harmony with the outer male and female energies. That's a really important aspect is at this point in history unifying ourselves and, and creating a new balance and understanding between male and female is all part of the global spiritual upliftment as well as our personal upliftment. In addition, the name, when it's broken down into what we call gematria, or what people know as numerology, actually carries the numerology of the name of God in our DNA. So the four letters actually have numbers that in essence capture the, the frequency of our DNA. So as we repeat it, 
we're actually activating the name of God in our DNA. So now are we creating a unity in it, but we're really activating the name of God. And the teaching is where you repeat the name of God is where the presence is drawn. So as we use this name with our breath and also with the vis visualization, Yod and then He and Wa and then He, we are activating it and planting in it ourselves and planting that frequency within ourselves, which is really what I would call the seal of God on our forehead and on our heart. And this way we create a field of light, love, peace, and also sound that emanates from us and helps uplift all of humanity and at the same time creates a field of light that dark forces can't really penetrate. So this name works on many levels. It's to elevate our consciousness to the point of enlightenment. It's to balance ourselves internally, the inner male and female, outer male and female. It's to bring the name of God, activate the name of God in our actual DNA and ultimately to create a field of light, love, peace, and uh, sound that expands and helps uplift all of humanity. So may you be blessed with this understanding and may you begin to bring it into your life, protecting yourself and honoring yourself with the seal of God on every level of your consciousness. Amen. Então, gente, essa meditação que o Dr. Cousins ensinou pra gente, eu também descrevi neste outro vídeo aqui. Então, se você ficou com alguma dúvida, pode ir lá que tá bem facinho de entender. Tem sido a principal meditação que eu uso para mim no processo do despertar e mobilização da Kundalini. E esse também é um tema que eu quero que o Dr. Cousins fale com a gente em um outro vídeo. Espero que você tenha gostado e que aprecie essa oportunidade que é eu estou trazendo os meus professores espirituais para falar com você também, aqui no canal. E se você está curtindo, não esqueça de assinar o nosso canal, curtir aqui o nosso vídeo e deixar o seu comentário, talvez até com temas e perguntas para o Dr. Cousins e para mim. Um beijo!